It's sad to see what old people have become. Yeah, it's sad to see what you've become, Grandma. Sad to see what you've become, Grandma. Like, you're wrinkly now, and I don't even want to yeah. rape you. <laughs> Looking at old pictures of your grandma, like, you used to be hot, but now you you get broke ass Sad pissy. to see what you've become, Grandma. You used to be in Times Square kissing a sailor, and now you're not. Sad. You turn to your grandpa, like, you cool with this shit? <laughs> she just, like, let her shit go, and that's fine with you? Standing over your dead your dead grandmother like at her funeral mm-hmm. and looking up and going, yeah. sad to see what she's become. <laughs> 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 or giving the eulogy at your grandma's funeral and you go, nah, she wasn't always worth this. Wow. <laughs> she used to be really banging and had big fat titties. Grandpa shit himself. That's cringe. It's pretty cringe, Grandpa. You're around people. Like, why don't you hold it together? The Reddit commenter who works at a morgue. The yeah. Reddit commenter about is about dead people. That they keep getting brought in. It's like, wow, looks like you shouldn't have pulled your wallet out, black kid. Sad to see what you've become. Looks like the cop shot you wrongfully. Sad. Sad. Cringe. You're, you're fat. <laughs> you're cringe, Jamal. <laughs> your fingers shouldn't have looked uh, like weapons. All right. All right. Let me before we start, really. What the fuck? Before we actually start, there was like lint in it. Before we actually start, you can need to figure that the fuck out. Yeah, Jesus Christ! Last episode, I li- I listened to ten minutes of the last episode. It was driving me up a wall. <laughs> it's, okay, it if there's not like... nicotine in that, you better fucking figure it out because you are just coughing uh, like a bitch. The yeah. nicotine's the stuff that's bad for no, you. No, it's not. It's mm. great for your brain. <laughs> the flavor's good. Andrew Humerman said it's good for your brain. Yeah, uh, I think I sucked the cotton thing out of it. You, you, so that way, it's like taking ripping the filter off. Yeah, the right. coil. I ripped the coil out. <laughs> the coil's yeah, yeah. dead. <laughs> You're like Kurt Vonnegut. You're sp- smoking Paul Malls without the filter. Yeah, dude, I'm, I'm hot knifing uh, vape juice. <laughs> <laughs> I have it on a knife mm-hmm. over the stove. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're giving yourself immediate brain damage. <laughs> <laughs> you huff the knife, and you can see a streak of white go through your vision. Yeah, I'm hot railing a cotton candy, mm-hmm. raspberry peach. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hot railing it. Yeah, yeah. You're using a gravity bong, mm-hmm. a three liter Coke bottle. Yeah. No, I'll try to be better about this. Yeah. You sounded like Roz from Monster's Inc. a little bit. People say I try to, I smoke vape juice like it's weed. Like, I'm like, you got to hold that shit yeah, in. Yeah, you hold it <laughs> in. Yeah. You're, You're like, like, the I'm... coughing opens up the capillaries, gets De- you higher. Devin, you have a ghost of vape? <laughs> you got a ghost in here. You're eating a mango after you take a vape hit. <laughs> like a fucking idiot. <laughs> It keeps you higher longer. <laughs> you need citrus. Yeah. Hitting a hitting a no nick vape and just being like, you see this black and white poster of Alice in Wonderland? It kicks ass. <laughs> it's velvet, by the way. This poster kicks ass. Oh boy, D- dude! They don't even sell vapes in Bucky's. I was in. I went to like no, three but, different Bucky's. Mm-hmm. No yeah, one is interested. Because in their patrons it. can barely breathe as is. Yeah. <laughs> If a Bucky's patron smokes a vape, his lungs will collapse like yeah. a mine shaft. The vapes at Bucky's are full of oxygen. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, their, th- their throats are reinforced. <laughs> they have the same technology that built the channel is keeping their throats open. Mm. Yeah, the way you can like refill your propane tanks at 7-Eleven. They have that for oxygen Yeah, they have tanks. it for oxygen. Yeah, people go in there to fill up their brain with mm-hmm. like juice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, It's for breathing and for like killing a great white shark at the end of Jaws. Like, can you turn on the air? I got four quarters. Can you turn on the air? And they shove it in their mouth. <laughs> they go, oh, thoughts. Oh, I'm thinking again. Right. They're so retarded. They think they've been... Oh, I can make it home now. I remember my directions home. <laughs> They're so retarded. They think they've been scuba diving for like 20 years. <laughs> I got to stop at Bucky's and air up my brain. I got flat in my head. Uh, can I? He goes, I got, there's a nail in my head. I got to get it patched. Do you mind if I, I refill my air cartridge at the, at the slicing machine? Mm. I like to put a little chair blast in it. Yeah, so anyway, I'm I'm at I'm at stall ninety seven. <laughs> Because there's a hundred guests. Yeah, guests. I'm at I'm at stall four thousand five hundred. It took me two days to get here. It took me two days to walk here from my 
Yeah, you see fat skeletons on the way back, like a desert. <laughs> fat skeletons. Yeah, the bones got fat. The rib cage is just a plate. Mm-hmm. They all grew together. Yeah, and the vultures are fat as shit <laughs> that have been picking them apart. Yeah, the vultures fucking are wearing Hawaiian shirts. The uh, the my entire Southwest flight on the way it. Back from Texas, it was mm-hmm. like the cast of Hey Arnold. Yeah, I don't know what is like becoming of people now. Everybody is like a triangle or yeah. a trapezoid. They got a, <laughs> or a the, tomato or, soup brain. Yeah. yeah, or scary skinny. <laughs> like they look like Helga or like his grandfather. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like uh, there was like a couple guys that had the Gerald, like the Gerald that, haircut, but they're mm-hmm. white guy. They're like red haired Jewish white guy. Is yeah. th- this guy next to my wife? I texted you guys about this. The guy who I tried said, to fuck your wife? This guy, well, me and Katie did the aisle method with the baby. What's that? Where we both took aisle seats so we could keep to- cross uh, tossing oh. the baby back and forth. That's easier because we're getting up and down I, constantly. I literally with her. thought you were going to say you kept the baby in the aisle. <laughs> That's just where you kept her. Yeah, people got to hop over. Mm-hmm. No, we did that. So my lady that I got on my side was a big fat British lady and there's no one between us mm-hmm. and she just had the loveliest fucking voice which is like oh what she was like almost Irish oh, she was so oh, British oh can you pass the double fudge <laughs> oh got a oh, baked potato oh sunny boy my Lipitor fell on the cabin floor can you pick <laughs> it up for me she's chives and sour cream on my baby like British street food just pour some baked beans on her head oh put some poutine on that baby I'll eat her up I will she ruled and then on my uh, wife's side it was this guy. He never spoke to me the entire flight. He looked like Beetlejuice before he died. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He he had scars all all, all over his body. Of course, mm-hmm. yeah. I mean, literally, he had his giant scar right. across here as if he got... He was like, yeah, I don't fly on helicopters anymore. Yeah, I'm only on planes now. Like, my wife's Wolverine. <laughs> He hit on my fucking wife the entire flight. The entire flight. In front of me, which Mm. was really awesome, actually. (laughs) Yeah, it really rules. He kept showing her. He's like, yeah, I got this. uh, uh." It was like that scene in Jaws when Mm. they're all showing scars. Like He like pops his leg up on top and like pulls that down. He's like, Thrasher, right there, 77. I got this scar from trying to fuck a guy's wife on a sprint flight. And I got this one. I was on a Delta flight. I tried to fuck this guy's wife. He beat the shit out of me. He pulled this line at her at one point, and I guffawed. Yeah. Really leaned over. He goes, you know, actually, I love kids. <laughs> <laughs> oh he kept getting sadder throughout the flight. Mm-hmm. One line that my wife told me a- after yeah. was he goes, uh, yeah, he goes, he, goes, I, he goes, what kind of bags do you got? And she was like, what? He's talking about titties? No, the, the bags. Like, Oh. He goes, I have a... I actually have Smithstone. They're my mother's. I live with my mother. That's when you know you're really not about to fuck somebody. When you're reaching for that. This guy, it was one of the biggest retards I've ever seen in my life. Showing her the scars. Uh, then he said that. Then he revealed he lives with his mom. And he goes, yeah, my mom wants me to get married. And I'm looking, you know. But I told her I can't get married until I find a girl who can, you know, tolerate me more than a few days. And I was like, man alive. Wow. We leave. He's taught. This is. I, I wouldn't tell this story if there wasn't some in, incredible ending. I could not believe what I saw. I want to see if you guys can guess it. He followed us to baggage claim. He kept hitting on my wife the entire time, mm-hmm. and then he left. And Katie tried to give him like a nice like. Uh, nice. Oh, it was great to you know that fake thing. Sure, You'll never you, see them again. You're on a flight. You go. We this. You know. We <laughs> had a time, and, and he, we'll he, never he, see each other. He, again. Yeah, yeah, whatever. And he he <laughs> did not give a shit at all because he was pissed off. At yeah, her. that he didn't get. Well, he didn't fucked. get it in, so he's yeah. done. Yeah. yeah, he gets into a vehicle. I look. It's a lifted jeep with with. It's like a dually kind of truck thing where the tires are really wide Being pulled and retarded. pulled by, by two Clydesdales. He's like the Budweiser man. <laughs> it was a fucking Jeep Wrangler. I'm like, a fucking course. Of and course, it's yeah. lifted. Huge tires. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The guy, the only guy I'm looking for, I'm like, okay, that's his dad. He can't, his dad's picking him up. He lives with his parents. He's 35. Beard and the whole thing. I go, his dad looks like him, but 30 years older. He's right. a fucking loser. Mm-hmm. His and dad I, tries to fuck Katie. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. He gets out of the car and goes, ma'am, hello. <laughs> you know, I actually hate kids. You know, actually, <laughs> I hate my fucking kid. <laughs> oh, by the way, really rocky landing when we were landing. Yeah. I It was so crazy that I clipped my seatbelt and I leaned over. Katie had the baby and I put my hand on the baby because mm-hmm. it was like, 
we came in sideways and our wheel hit like this right. and then we slammed. Yeah. So I preemptively, it was so rocky, I put hand on my wife and my baby and held her like that, terrified. Well, it's a Southwest flight. Yeah. Like at this point, Flava Flav walks out of the cockpit. He's like, any, any of y'all want to fucking... Anyone want to yeah. come up here and fly this fucking thing? Yeah. Southwest flight, they're like, all right, lay across your baby because it's you're about to get fucked up. Southwest, you just jump on a, the back of a bird. Southwest, they actually pick up guys going like this in yeah. hot air balloons. There's a guy in a hot air balloon going like, go my way? Cleveland? You're flying Southwest. You're like, is that Mr. Megorium? <laughs> We're going to get in his hot air balloon. Yeah. Southwest has a guy in the bottom like pedaling a bike very quickly. It's so bad. I hand across. He three, sees me do this. He reaches over hand on top of my <laughs> hand. On top of and he does my that to fucking Katie? baby. Wow. Yes. Dude, what a power He move. put yes. his arm on top of mine. Like his isn't enough resistance. Like so right. I'm the strong one. Like all. Because we were like fucking sure. like almost yeah. slamming into sure. this. People were clapping when we finally landed. Really? So mm-hmm. bad. Yeah. We came in in like a storm and stuff. Anyway, so that was like I could not That's, believe what he did. You, you got cocked, by the way. I have to say, I unfortunately. Got he, and by the way, he uh, had a big. He had the biggest iPad you could possibly buy, which mm. is how you know he's a retard. Sure, yeah, yeah. He bought it from a McDonald's. <laughs> he goes, look, it was at, a look at this Ned Flanders looking ass, <laughs> motherfucker. Ned Flanders ass <laughs> can't even protect his own damn baby and shit. Can't it, even can't even do the fucking human seatbelt yeah. on his baby. It, dude, it would be funny if he tried to do that to impress Katie and he was just kept fucking knocking around. Oh, he, puts, <laughs> he puts the hand, he kills the baby. <laughs> he hits her. He hits her the baby starts crying. He's like, he's like, your baby's being a bitch. <laughs> We're having to like, do CPR on the baby. Yeah. He's like, it's, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> he was watching uh, like Star Wars cartoons the whole time. Oh, like, he's retarded. He's I think retarded there's like guy. a Clone Wars he was like, watching cartoon. The of animated some kind. Clone Wars. I think that's what it was. Was he's there Obi Wan with like the big fake pointy beard? I th- it might have been video games, Jace. I'm really not sure. He pre-downloaded. Mm. He was like, some I'm only, nightmare. I'm on the flight to catch Pokemon. <laughs> You know, I saw a guy the other day somewhere. I forget where it was because I uh, my memories are just the amalgamations of my own former memories. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it was a guy that flew somewhere else to catch Pokemon. Really? He's still on Pokemon Go and he flew to another like state. To, Jesus. Like, he's like, I'm here to catch Pokemon. I'm here to get killed by Gabby Patino's ex-husband. <laughs> oh, it was an auditor. It was one of those auditor guys. Like, you know those guys oh, that film guy films. outside of post office? He asked them what he's doing in the town. The guy was like, I'm catching Pokemon. I'm oh, catching Pokemon. Pokemon, <laughs> and I'm asserting my First Amendment rights. So he talked to a travel agent for like f- catching Pokemon. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The Pokemon are calling the police on him because they won't. He <laughs> won't leave them alone. <laughs> Which I didn't even think people were. I did. I thought Pokemon Go like ended kind of like I thought yeah, that eight was, years ago. Yeah, yeah, the last I heard of it was Hillary Clinton saying yeah. Pokemon Go to the polls yeah. in 2016, like eight years ago. <sighs> Which yeah. I'm still fucking pissed about. Yeah, I'm still like fuck libs. Oh, can I? Can I? Oh, s- well, here, before yeah. I forget, real quick. The Jeep Wrangler he got in, I saw an emblem on the side, and I yeah. was like, no fucking way, because I've seen like five Jeeps with the Jurassic Park logo on the side. Hell yeah. I'm like, this motherfucker really is getting in the Jurassic, and I, I took another glance, huge emblem, swear to God, it said, Z- on the giant red emblem with a skull on it, Zombie Resistance Task Force. <sighs> what does that mean? He's got oh, this fantasy no. where he fights zombies. He fights zombies. There's a big grill on the front right. of the Jeep and everything. So his dad is like a guy who Which, fantasizes about killing zombies. Can I, and that's his Jeep that he decked out for the apocalypse he think may or may not happen if there's like a I am legend kind of thing. So, zombie resistance task force. Swear to God, so, Devin, right hand to God. I'm not making it. Did he that have up. like a hat? I, on lo- I fucking the flight. lost it. Did he have like like gloves and stuff like that? Like a leather vest? Was he wearing, was he wearing any leather? He, he had like big, like, like a uh, uh, DC shoes. Oh. He kind of looked like a, he looked like his fish taco shop just went <laughs> bankrupt. Yeah, he looks like that he, he stole, owned in Oceanside. He looks like he stole two hundred k in PPE loans. <laughs> he had big DC shoes covered in caliche dust. Like mm-hmm. he went on a hike one day and like right. he just became a missing person. And he's he like talking to Katie. He's like, so here's the thing. Like we 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 should have like put the mango coleslaw on the fish tacos, <laughs> but we didn't go for that. And it really everything plummeted. Yeah. Biden shut my business down. 
down because I tried to fuck all my employees. <laughs> tried to fuck all my 17-year-old servers. I straight up got cucked for three hours by He never said one word to mm-hmm. me. Tried to fuck my wife the entire time. I never said a, a goddamn word. And he gets in the That's zombie. The move, res- if you and do- he ignored my wife when she was trying to be nice to him, mm-hmm. too. So he then big-timed her. Because he was upset. Yeah, because mm-hmm. she didn't give up her can, pussy. Can I tell you He th- goes, it's crazy you didn't throw this baby on the ground and fuck me in the Mile High Club. <laughs> And that guy has such cognitive dissonance that I, I, I messaged you that that guy was like got in the car and he was talking to his daddy and he goes, yeah, there was this lady on the flight. She totally wanted to fuck me, but her husband was there. Yeah. She wanted to fuck the shit out of me. Mm-hmm. I saved the baby from flying across the plane. Mm-hmm. She had, he had a really weak husband that doesn't fuck her good. <laughs> and he tried to do the seatbelt thing. I had to help because he sucks. And then the dad drove him back to his fucking room in La Jolla with mm-hmm. a fucking race car chair yeah. that he sits in front of and just plays video games yeah. all day. And he's like, I'm a fucking baller. <laughs> yeah, his race car bed, that's the exact same as the Jeep. I was going to say the Jeep, the zombie thing, that means you know he got those scars from accidents with a katana and a pack of water bottles in his backyard he said uh, yeah do prob- he had a giant one here all across his hands he had gauges like slicked mm-hmm. back oh, hair to gauges, hide the balding so he, and beard he red like checkered shirt one of those white guys with gauges interesting okay mm-hmm. yeah the zombie but he's the zombie resistance task force he's one of god's most retarded soldiers yeah a guy who's not uh, su- supposed to survive past 2013. He sa- he actually said, he goes, I got a lot of these scars because when I was born, I weighed two pounds. And my parents tried to kill me. <laughs> when I was born, I sucked so much, my dad put me in a blender. <laughs> <laughs> so that's like the movie Gremlins. He goes, uh, you, know, uh, you know what a lot of people tell me, actually? Uh, I don't have a twin sister, but a lot of people think my sister's my twin sister, even though she's 13 years my junior. She's 21. Mm. And then he showed a picture of his sister, and she totally looked nothing like him. She <laughs> goes, yeah, everyone thinks we're twins, but I go, no, nah, I'm actually 35, and uh, yeah, she graduated college, and I didn't. So, uh, yeah. Damn. God damn him. He's like, anyway, I love kids. Anyway, I love kids. I'll <laughs> fuck you. Please. Oh, I'll say I like kids if you fuck me, please. One of the worst dudes. Type of guy that gets drunk and he goes to a sushi stop and he asks for the new Halo. <laughs> yeah, he he thinks uh, he thinks in Halo they live in a, on a big mm-hmm. California roll. Yeah, that's what he Halo goes, is. He goes, give, give me the tempura fried GTA. <laughs> He has no nothing is right. nothing is lining up with <laughs> goes, his life anymore. He goes to sushi stuff. He goes, "Can I just get the tempura batter, <laughs> not not the food instead?" Unless he was just a pedophile. No, and this was like a long. But he confessed, like no one will date him, and he's mm-hmm. like chronically alone, and his, his mom wishes he moved out. And mm. I feel bad for the guy because he like he was cut up pretty bad, right? He looked like yeah. he looked like uh, his parents just like kind of twined him like a pot roast before you put it in the oven. They sure. do that to him before he goes sure. to bed. Yeah. yeah, they they put a yeah. barbed wire fence around his room. He keeps trying to escape. Yeah, and they in the middle of the night he's tangled up in he it, goes, <laughs> just cutting himself to bits. Yeah, these scars. My um, uh, my parents keep me captive in their basement. Yeah. <laughs> You see, this, I'm a prisoner of uh, the scar right my dad. The scar right here. I was trying to get a three ounce Diet Coke bottle with a katana. Came back on me, bounced off right yeah. in my kneecap. I'm kind of like my own Israel Castro. <laughs> yeah, this one right here. I got um, I got ninja stars from the mall, and I tried to throw it. I threw it right up in the air. Came down into my neck. <laughs> Type of guy that's so racist. He escapes from captivity, but a black guy eating McDonald's like saves him, and he goes like, No, no I'll go back. I'll go back. <laughs> Yeah, uh, Texas, sounds... Texas doesn't dumb rob people, dude. I, like, was he landing in LA though? Yeah, because so his he dad was... picked him up in the zombie resistance. Task so they use a SoCal sunburned piece of shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't yeah. know what he was doing in Dallas. Actually, he was I trying. About it. He was Dallas, trying to do January six. Dallas is the dorm room for like sunburned so- Southern California. It really is. He's yeah. probably flying there because he's like the Cheesecake Factory hits different. He's like, I was visiting all my <laughs> frat friends, but like now I'm back like in the real world. Right. I got know? kicked out of the University of North Texas yeah. two weeks in, so I go back sometimes. I work at a Zoomies in the mall. <laughs> and I just <laughs> sell <laughs> giant. <laughs> Shoes. He commutes. I sell giant so shoes. To I commute. I commute to Dallas because, to work the at the state income tax. Yeah. He goes. My fucking fourteen year old girlfriend keeps stealing from Claire's. <laughs> I gotta go bail her out. 
I gotta bail that bitch out. I have a long distance fourteen year old girlfriend. <laughs> Luckily, they don't charge you know minors yeah. t- too heavily. My fourteen year old long distance girlfriend won't fucking touch my dick. <laughs> she won't jack me off. You know, I gave her the new G-Eazy album, and she's still <laughs> just not touching me. I told her to take me to prom, but she said it's like four more years before she goes. Dude, Texas did a number on me. I kind of had this fantasy that I go to like barbecue places and just eat like turkey no, and green beans or something. No, you just eat sludge. You just eating hamburger helper and shit. Mm-hmm. I was on a walk with my baby. I was pushing her on the stroller at like 8.30, yeah. and I was just wandering around, and I went past a Krispy Kreme. And then they were closed on the inside, and I pushed my daughter on a stroller through the drive-thru of a Krispy Kreme, and I got six donuts. Wow. Damn. God damn. damn. I ate like four of them. Yeah. I didn't eat all of them. I only was going to eat one. You're allowed to walk through the drive-thru? Yeah, they don't care. Oh, and in, in, in LA, it's a big deal. Yeah. I know, but they in never Texas, because they have homeless people, you know. In Texas, yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah, yeah. God damn. I got the uh, the batter, the birthday cake uh, donut. Ooh. They have one that's like there's birthday cake on the inside or something, and then mm. I got a raspberry cream yeah. one, and then a. They go. Do one you with want a custard? And- they go. Do you want some of these special breast milk donuts for your baby girl? <laughs> We got um, Lorraine in the back. She makes donuts out of her titty milk. We could give her one. <laughs> you keep setting up trips to Texas just to eat. Man. You do, yeah. I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I know what they're serving. Like, half the plate just looks like white slop. Yeah. And then there's one protein on the plate. You're getting big red in Texas and cooking it like it's methamphetamine on a sheet. Yeah. So it gets hard and you can break it into little pieces. <clears throat> just eating, like, uh, like fucking brisket grenades. Mm-hmm. Like, I have to pull a pin on my food and swallow it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go, in, go into the bar barbecue place and be like i'll get uh, give me all the gristle you're gonna throw out give me some of them nato rounds can i get some of the juice in a big cup give me, give me the me juice. juice give me the drippings <laughs> and some and a stick of butter <laughs> you what yeah you walk up you put a 50 dollars down you go give me i go to the back room with the drippings <laughs> i know you got it i know you got a secret back room with the drippings give me one hour they got the stuff we throw out that falls off of the yeah, stove the stuff that raccoons keep eating and dying <laughs> The EPA can yeah, don't let them get their mitts on. I go, did they get did the dirty raccoons get their mitts on the drippings? <laughs> I'd still eat it, but I don't want them to. I love the Texas people like so much more though, because then you fly back to California and they're like, the baby's gonna cry. No, you, you fly know, back to of... California and the guy that owns Wahoo's Fish Taco is trying to rape your wife. <laughs> And then in front of him, this fucking blasting yeah. sublime trying to finger bang your baby on the flight. Of course, yeah. Southern California yeah. is way more deranged. A human billabong. No, it's like the guy in front, like, you know, he's a homosexual, like, Saudi, like, Muslim, Arab yeah. type mm-hmm. of guy who's like, who kept doing, like, one of these if the baby, like, God forbid, the baby cries. Yeah, because he can't believe there's babies that are alive. He doesn't even know how he was born. He right. goes, I don't even know how I made it to 20. Yeah. He he's, goes, how did my parents not bludgeon me to death and make hummus out of me? He's, he's actually not mad about the baby crying. He's mad that a woman is speaking. Yeah. He counts the baby as a woman. He, he'd fucking he'd fucking roll his eyes and then uh, and then open his phone and he would scroll on Instagram and just scroll past buff like really buff. Mm-hmm. You want to like know Venice the, the defense thing is like, that if you that's were, your life. If you, your life is shitty and it sucks and if it's you disgusting. Were, if you were ever in a big thing with that guy, you go, "Hey, listen, bub, you're on a Southwest flight. You fucking loser." How are you a Saudi with no money? You're a Saudi with no money, you Mm -hmm. bum. You're beyond bums. Yeah, he's rolling his eyes at your baby and then fingering a box cutter under his blanket (laughs) that he wears. (laughs) Fuck off. Yeah, fuck you. The the most miserable people are mad about it on the flight, that the baby might cry for like a minute. I have a good baby. Like, don't give me the fucking eye roll and then go back to your shitty life where you just look at hot guys on Instagram. Your life sucks ass. It doesn't matter. Let's not pretend Muslims don't love screams, (laughs) okay? (laughs) Their whole goal is to one day uh, you know, fucking mm-hmm. inflict pain on a on a on a city. Yeah, he was he was mad the baby was stealing his shine that he couldn't yell a lot. It was so Car Sarniev. He was the like, this baby, bomber? yeah, the baby's getting too much like fucking too much attention. <laughs> no, I'm the hot one. I'm sick of it's these. Like, I was on the cover of Rolling Stone. <laughs> yeah, I took people's legs off and I'm really fuckable. <laughs> I'm sick of these gay Muslims though. Gay enough, Muslims? Yeah, you can't be gay and Muslim enough. You got if yeah, you're gonna be bullshit. if you're Muslim, you're gay. You gotta you like gotta bleach pick, your skin. You gotta pick one. Mm-hmm. You gotta pick. One. You gotta bleach your skin. You gotta be white. Yeah, don't be it's wearing. Just, or you gotta pretend to be Mexican. Yeah, don't be wearing the head blanket and then be fucking a guy in the ass. Yeah, what are you doing? Yeah, it's not okay. Fucking yeah. pissing me the fuck off. And the guy behind him with like fucking burn wounds on his face, mad that the baby cried like for a little bit. 
Fuck off. Well, you're, you your are... life sucks ass and you're looking for a reason to be miserable. Then you go back to doing fucking nothing. Fuck all. I mean, I'm on your side at all times, but at the end of the day, I also, know you like, hate babies on planes. It's a baby on a flight. So yeah, I, I, I will be. I got to say, when I do hear a baby crying, I, I sit up in my chair and I turn around. Yeah, I in always my look. Chair and I, I look. look back. I, I go fucking. I don't know. Yeah. Chloroform that thing. I get guy on my behind knees it, in this my chair. stood up and looked like that. <laughs> You did that? No, a guy stood up and looked at my wife like that when the baby was mm-hmm. crying for like about a he minute. He was just getting a down. He pretended right. to be readjusting shot. himself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he went fucking to- asshole. I would. I wanted to kick his fucking ass. Yeah, he, he looked, looked like fucking John Voight fell in the deep fry. <laughs> Cock sucking ass. What if it was John Voight? <laughs> <laughs> you guys, you that my kid? <laughs> your daughter's a whore who's adopted more fucking yeah. tan babies than anyone on earth. Yeah, he, he leans over and goes, Be careful, your daughter's gonna fuck Billy yeah. Bob Thornton. <laughs> you go, Why don't you get this punching bag back to Brad Pitt, retard? Oh, dude, I forgot about the zombie resistance. <laughs> he goes, Do you know what it's like to have 85 black grandchildren? <laughs> It sucks, dude. Not to make it like story hour or whatever, but like I'm almost I'm almost done here or whatever. The sure. Point. Or I want to apologize. Who gives a shit? Right. The one last thing the zombie resistance task force guy did. Um, uh, you know, women when they bre- have you ever seen a woman breastfeed in public? Oh yeah. Well, yeah. no, no. I'm I have that, actually. I have. I have. It's it's un- very uncomfortable. Well, but if they have a huge blanket over them instead of doing the thing that's with the bullshit titty out. with the titty, yeah. Out. Yeah. titty yeah. out. So yeah. my wife puts on a big uh, nursing blanket over, so you you don't even that's know fine. anything's happening. You don't even know the baby's underneath. That's right. completely fine. You see the guy. You see the guy pulling up a big mirror that he's trying to poke under it. He sta- He did. He fucking did this. <laughs> really? He stared at her as she was breastfeeding the baby, like looking down where her tits are. That's insane. That's actually insane. For like about 30 seconds before he went back to his screen, I was looking at him like, dude. <laughs> like, yeah. If you see a woman breastfeeding, obviously you give her privacy and look yeah, the yeah. other Here's way. Here's the thing, man. It's like you you can't expect that out of the rest of humanity. No, I can. No. If a woman takes her, t- come no. on. That's you like, for that's, a utilitarian purpose, it's you're not dealing, a strip club. You're dealing with human weather. You're on a Southwest <laughs> flight. No. You're going to hit some fucking rain yeah, and there's hail. Some turbulence. There's going to be some turbulence, man. Maybe it, I'm the asshole yeah. then. I don't know. There's a hundred. Well, the how many people are on a flight? 150? 150, yeah. Too many. 10 of those well, 150 there were 30 are people. psychopaths yeah, yeah. that don't care about any and of you're that on, shit. Yeah, you're on Southwest. It's the bus of the sky. Yeah. So, yeah. People are fat as shit on the Southwest flights. It's very funny. Yeah. They're so fucking fat. And all the steward, all the flight attendants are so gay. Yeah. <laughs> they they're, are. They're all like, John, South- it's a bunch of Jonathan Van Nesses just yeah. like, oh my God, honey, I'm going to crush you like a bug. <laughs> Southwest is so shitty they have the only ugly gay stewards in like the entire flight industry. Yeah. It'll be like a fat gay guy who's like, oh my god, you, the fucking thing. You get on a Southwest gay guys flight. That don't get gay, gay guys that can't fuck gay guys. <laughs> gay guys that get on grinder and go, I know this strike at. Ah, shucks. Ah, uh, shucks. I can't fuck people in the most sinful environment yeah. on earth. You get on a Southwest flight and like Magic Johnson's like trans kid like asks you if you want yeah. like peanuts. The fucking gay Mr. Potato Head. <laughs> Six nine gay potato head and walking then down the Dwayne aisle. Wade's kid comes up the aisle and goes like, "It's okay, he's a fucking asshole. Here's some, here's some pretzels." I was on a Southwest flight recently, and there was a there was a gay guy who had glitter on his eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Walking down the aisle, and I was like, "I don't want to, you know, I don't well, want to be Fred Phelps, but you should wild. go to hell." They're wild, dude, because they land in different cities and they just go to the le- the local. They have they party all night. That's and they why get gay on a guys flight. do it is so they can have a bunch of yeah. That's gay why sex. I, 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 I think they're flight attendants for the anonymous gay sex. Yeah. What's, yeah. what's even funnier on the Southwest flight is everyone is like is like over three hundred fifty pounds somehow. Mm-hmm. I was on a flight recently and Gerard Carmichael asked me if I wanted <laughs> soda water. <laughs> While he was filming you for his new HBO <laughs> yeah, show. Yeah, and he, then he asked me if I, he could suck my toes. <laughs> and you said no, and then he looked at you like a fucking puppy dog. I gotta say, like, listen, I don't say this about gay people, but Gerard Carmichael, what a faggot. <laughs> And I mean it in the derogatory sense. And I mean sense. it in the mean way that doesn't have to do with him being gay, but like that's the reason that word exists. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just him him pulling up a stool next to your aisle it, on Southwest. When you when that word comes out, it people mean like, oh, you're a narcissistic exhibitionist, self indulgent, self absorbed psychopath who thinks a show about you fucking men 
and and trying to force Tyler the Creator to let you fuck him in the ass mm-hmm. is like art. Yeah, we just watched a couple episodes, and by episode uh, two, it was him sitting in a chair being like, "I like licking balls. I like eating <laughs> spit." I like drinking cum. I love sex. Like, I came out at 30, so, like, I'm, like, sexually 17. <laughs> he's, like, throwing dildos at a wall like it's darts. Yeah, dude, he's gay Tucker Max. <laughs> I, yeah, he is. <laughs> I will say there is nothing interesting about that guy except that he is gay. And no and one, I don't and think that's, that's not, even real. And that's not interesting. It's and, not interesting. And I yeah. think it's also calculated and fake. You mm-hmm. came out as gay at 30 yeah. in 2023. He's like, gay. He gives a yeah, shit. Yeah, he's gay in the way like one of Caligula's slaves was gay. <laughs> <laughs> he's just trying to get through the day, yeah. you know? He's trying, trying to, to get a promotion. Promo. Yeah, no, literally. And then he goes to like the fucking Emmys, like dressed like, you know, fucking super fly. <laughs> and then like fucking, you know, all these producers stare and point at him like yeah. he's a pet. Yeah. Yeah, I like him. I want to do a show where I just keep harassing Earl Sweatshirt and being like, I'm standing in his driveway, like asking him <laughs> to <laughs> fuck me in the ass. <laughs> gay sex with Earl Sweatshirt. <laughs> and I, I was just his Postmates driver. I have yeah. his number still from Postmates. And I just keep texting him every day like, hey, man, the Emmys are in four days. Like, I'm a caterer. Like, yeah. I need a date. Can you fuck me in the ass? He's like, I haven't I haven't showered in six weeks. <laughs> er- Earl Jizrag. And then there was the mm-hmm. fucking, what was that, Alex mm-hmm. Edelman? Oh yeah, Devin made me watch this Alex Edelman special. Un- mm-hmm. Jesus Christ, believable. Yeah. yeah, which should I think, I think they Holy showed his special. Fuck. I think they showed his special at the Hague when they were talking about Israel. He comes out as evidence that the Jews have <laughs> added nothing to art in the last twenty years. This guy years. comes out like pigeon toed and frail. Mm-hmm. He looks like a light breeze would kill him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And he's telling the most boring stories of all time, ultimately getting into like, I wound up in a neo-Nazi rally and I didn't know it, but I loved the pastries. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. I watched that and I was like, you know, if I work for the JDL, I would be like, we got to take him out because this is bad PR. This is terrible Mm -hmm. for the Jewish community. Yeah, you'd be like, I I heard there was actually a terrorist group inside Alex Edelman's ass. (laughs) I think we should fire yeah. a, ro- a rocket at yeah, it. I think there's a. I think there's a school hiding under Alex Edelman's ass, <laughs> and we have to bomb it. Yeah, because I saw him performing in like 2015. And he was doing that like I'm a little baby boy, I'm a little nerdy boy, and then, you know, fast forward eight years, it's like beneficial to be some type of fucked up thing. And he's like, actually, I'm a human pickle that walks around New York. Yeah. And I'm a little gay it's pickle so funny boy. That you put being Jewish in the category of being a fucked up thing. Yeah, that's so funny. Well, am I wrong? Am I love I wrong? pickles. We're okay. It's funny. I, you you see these people? They never mention they're Jewish once for yeah. like years, yeah, and then all years. of a sudden they actually are actively hiding it until you know. Yeah, they bring it up any second until yeah. it's a straight white guy who yeah. needs like four you know fucking weird guess who anyway. category things to have. These are just the new things in HBO. We didn't put them out. And mm-hmm. there, unfortunately, it's the only thing I do give my undivided attention. You can mm-hmm. put on like uh, we put on like Seven Samurai. We They're all got on our phones, but then we put on Alex Edelman special. And you we're go, just, oh my god, it's captivating, unbelievable. How did thirty minutes just roar by? You go like a monsoon. Yeah. You yep. watch. You go, wow, look at Jeffrey Katzenberg's cousin go. I feel like I'm in a hurricane of time when Devin puts on a, a new Netflix special. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like. <laughs> Yeah, just everything is moving very quickly. Yeah. He's yeah. pacing very quickly back. It's like you're fast forwarding my life, like I'm in click. That's what yeah. I'm here Essentially. for. Mm-hmm. I do a show called Hate Watch. Yeah, all I do is look at bad shit mm-hmm. all day, and I go, "What are you up to?" Yeah, but you like you're like a sommelier for like watching things. Yeah, you, no, that I, make you. I very put it in my nose. I go, "Oh, the notes <laughs> suck ass. Oh, the legs are terrible." See, I do that with cups of shit. Because I'm into like morbid people who really stink and suck ass and should be killed you and love, have no worth. Here's the thing though: you love people that like they're too retarded to even know they're doing bad. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I love people that I know know better. Yeah, but are sociopaths. But are sociopaths. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're like all the sinners come to me, and I go, mm-hmm. that's more insane to me because mm-hmm. they yeah. have the self awareness. The, the people you love are too doped up on fucking you know high fructose corn syrup and like fried food to like really know. They're not doing anything. They're just fat they're as shit. They're not malevolent people. Not mal- they're- so you're interested in like the sociopathy yes. around like someone goes, what do I need to be to be a writer I'm, staffed on a show I'm or get an HBO special? Exactly. I'm fascinated by the people that I've met in my life where they look at me and they could they they, they just see like my IMDB like star number above mm-hmm. my head. Yeah. You know, and they, they go, oh, should I talk to this guy or should I not? Is he human or not? 
the fat guy, those fat guys you like, we talk shit about. They would talk to us. They don't. They don't <clears throat> discriminate. I'm fascinated by uh, 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 racists of status. Mm-hmm. Status racists. Yeah, and that's it, a fascinating thing to me. And you, then uh, me, on the other hand, though, I like. Uh, I found a video today of a like a three hundred pound guy get hit by a truck, and that's and bad. that was. I mean, yeah. you did. It was fun. You did I show me mark that. Yeah, you showed that to me, and then we laughed at it and said, "We're glad he's dead." <laughs> we said that several <laughs> times. It's so funny because I, do you think we could show it? Actually, um, I mean, that's your judgment call on that one. Yeah, I mean, uh, Devin hasn't seen it yet. I yeah. kind of do want to show. What Devin. is it? You can't really. The, the TV is purposely it, like a little gonna, blurry. It's not so. going to do it justice. Yeah, but this guy really goes flying. <laughs> I didn't see this. Oh, I'm going to show Devin. Devin, right. you're good. This is a. This is something. Uh, that you're really gonna enjoy. This is some guy like in like uh, Mobile, Alabama, or something like that. Some guy just no. It's actually where Lynch shot Blue Velvet in like Wilmington, like South Carolina or North Carolina or some shit. Uh, I always yeah. mix up the some Carolinas because I don't give a shit. Yeah, yeah this is one of those places. Any t- lot of room and mm-hmm. nobody that should occupy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, a place where a place where you hear somebody's moving there and you go, oh, well, that's a decision. I go, well, you're dead now. <laughs> <laughs> well, and then I, I, as I'm looking at you, I'm deleting you out of my phone contacts. <laughs> you, you give him a living funeral. Right. You know, oh, enjoy it. <laughs> yeah, they're moving there in like a Viking boat that's on fire. They're like, you, you come visit me in Charleston, won't you? You're like, sure. Uh-huh. As, you're, as you're firing a big arrow into the sky to light it. A big fiery air. Memorializing their entire life. We'll come visit you. And then just... (laughs) Here we go. Here we go. This uh, this was great. So basically what's happening here, because I read the news story about it, is this... uh, it's a. It, this all takes place in a Burger King parking lot, mm-hmm. and this guy is try, This guy in the uh, safety vest is trying to stop a carjacking. Yeah, that, well, that's not. He's not. Inv- it's not his car. I oh, don't he's think. just a construction worker. That's like. Fucking, he's just a good Samaritan. Like yeah, like citizens arrest guy. Yeah, yeah. He's gonna fire at this guy. Who's getting? Who's getting their car? So this guy is carjacking this car. See that truck? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And this vest guy pulls out a gun. He pulls out a gun. He shoots five times. He shoots at point point range and misses the guy. Wait, Which, he's not shooting. I talked to my friend. Well, it's because he missed so many times. He's too fat. Now he's yeah. walking back to Burger King. So now he's walking back to Burger King. The car backed up, and now it's pulling forward. Dude, I haven't watched this shit. This rules. Here it goes. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it hit him. It hit him like four times. Dude, it kept bouncing him in the air. Yeah, it was it like kept, a skip. Dude, it was him. like a skipping stone. He stayed. <laughs> A fat skipping stone. <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? Yeah. yeah so yeah, that yeah. guy hit him because he was like, "I can't believe you shot at me." Yeah. I didn't. I never saw the guy shoot though. That he was, pulled. No, no, he his, pulled a gun to the window and shot his, five times. His hand's so fat you can't really see the gun. Okay. It's like that scene when yeah. Vito kills Jackie Jr. and the gun's that big yeah, in his fat right, hand. Right. Right. Yeah, but God so he, damn. he shot at him yeah. literally from a foot away and missed. I think because his like diabetes just took his vision. He can't see anymore. <laughs> He's firing through the window away from the guy's head. And the guy, yeah, hit him going like fucking Fuck. 50 miles an hour. Did they catch him? They caught the carjacker and that guy that he got hit, was, uh, unfortunately, he did pass away. Yeah, but from an unrelated <laughs> an unrelated heart disease. Yeah, he's not being, the carjacker's not being tried for murder. Yeah, yeah. They're like, he was. He actually had a stroke uh, a couple seconds before the event happened. I kind of, I was thinking about it. What I would do if I was that fat guy and if I was running and I knew he was going to hit me, I would pull out the gun and blow my head off yeah. the moment <laughs> right, I get hit by the truck. The car, yeah. mm-hmm. No, the moment I'm about to get hit by the truck, I'd blow my brains out. Right. And, and then, then he'd hit me too <laughs> and then the driver's like ah oh, darn it F A. that'd be the funniest thing can you also imagine this fat guy laying on the ground dying and he's looking up at a burger king sign and he thinks he's in heaven <laughs> <laughs> he's like sees the bright light but it's just a burger king sign <laughs> and he goes yeah hallelujah bye and bye and then he goes to hell for being fat <laughs> It's, if it's true, like supposedly your soul like leaves your body, it like floated through the Burger King yeah. sign to get to heaven. his his soul tried to leave his body, but it couldn't get off the ground, yeah. so it was just stuck at the ass. He just floated like a cartoon dog over the Whoppers being cooked. Yeah, he flo- he floated like when a balloon is like run out of too much air and just kind of like stalks your floor. 
Yeah, but he died. No, he he's, died. That's a, that's a real man yeah, who's dead. A, it's funny because like I, it's the insurance companies cover the car, so he's like, I am, I am in the, I am in the Geico army, sir. Yeah, I will make sure that insurance yeah. company does not have he's to like, cover yeah, he's for like, this man's policy. It is my duty that a Mexican guy does not get fifteen hundred dollars. <laughs> For reselling this at a chop shop. He's basically, he enlisted himself in the Allstate Army. Mm-hmm. He's like, I will protect he anybody's goes, car no matter he, what. So the insurance company does yeah. not get fucked this over. Is, this is my moment because I've been kicked out of the police force for being yeah. fat eight times. I'm at State Farm Easy Company, Platoon 184. Here's the thing. Cholesterol, 258. <laughs> I'm not going to shit on these guys too hard because... Uh, yeah, we've been pretty easy on them. <laughs> <laughs> no, go easy on him now. I yeah, say, go easy. I'll say a nice thing now because sometimes the guy who fantasizes about being the hero with the gun, mm-hmm. sometimes he is actually the hero with the gun. You go, thank God that guy was there to blow that guy's head off at Patrick sure. Robbins. Yeah, but this guy, <laughs> this guy was the loser with the gun. <laughs> yeah. Who has this fantasy all day of being a hero? Can I tell you, he probably shot that bullet and hit a kid in the parking lot on the other side. Yeah. He probably, a kid's head exploded probably, 500 feet it behind probably him. It probably killed a three month old black baby in Baltimore. <laughs> it it flew across the country. And he, he, just goes, kept and he goes, bullseye. He goes, he goes at least I'm done trying. Yeah. And the car's, the car's racing to him. He goes, no, no, no. I was trying to shoot the black baby. <laughs> he just gets it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's the thing, but that's the thing. If you fantasize all day about being a hero and you can't really even tie your shoes that quickly, <laughs> <laughs> I know it's like he's the quickest John the way. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. You're he- make sure he ties his shoes first. I'm gonna be a hero, just like my favorite sandwich. <laughs> 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 it's Fuck like you. you can't <laughs> you have no proper you clearly has no proper training when you're that close you basically use your pistol like a like a staple gun yeah mm-hmm. like you just push it to the guy's body and you fire you don't like try these people to... forget the difference between mace and guns because like their wife has mace they have a gun right. and they go you always use that shit if anything happens you know you know people use mace like pretty willy-nilly now yeah. And now the, Bear Mace and the shit? gun, if you have just have like a like a simple like Glock, like people just pull that shit out. I see videos all day of people just like casually pulling guns out and just like firing mm-hmm. like the entire round. Yeah. At people. Th- this like that guy who gets passed on the highway. You yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Yeah. The guy's just like literally driving. He's like, you are the dancing queen. And he just queen. starts shooting out of his yeah, car. Yeah, somebody passed him and he just seems to go. It's like shoving him back. It's He's not thinking about the severity of what he's doing. Mm-mm. It's just a moron. He has a, 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 a fucking a toy with him. Yeah. No, it, it, it's uh, brutal. Yeah. Yeah, actually. It's insane. Yeah. But also a guy trying to be a hero is very uh, gay, especially being a hero for a company's property. People that, that stop is people from off. stealing from Target and Walmart. Yeah. It's like, dude, you really deserve whatever they are going to do to you. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, who cares? I know. Every video I see of a guy trying to stop a black guy stealing at like Walmart. Yeah. Just like out of his like. I'm a corporate defender. Mm-hmm. I love corporate. Like, there, there's a whole system in place for the, the money will be handled. Yes. They're not taking from a mom and pop store. <laughs> right. If you're at like your local, you know, since 1937, like some hoagie shop mm-hmm. and somebody's being a fucking <laughs> asshole psycho and like robbing the place. Yeah. yeah shoot him in the fucking head. Sure. Yeah. I would do that. Mm-hmm. I'd shoot the guy in the head. But yeah. like if I was in a Walmart and somebody had a bomb and they said, if you press this button, the Walmart won't explode, I would just walk past it and yeah. outside i don't give a shit i'm like i don't give a fuck blow this whole thing up with the fuck. people inside don't give a fuck who cares yeah yeah damn it anyway dude on the plane had a, i just i just remember this he had a giant bag of skittles he kept eating and he ate them one by one like they were vitamins by yeah. the way were you he kept he kept going like i only eat the red ones and then he kept grabbing the wrong one yeah, he, he sucks the food dye off the skittles and then spits out <laughs> he's like I, the- I just eat it for the red dye 40 He's he's cracking them like sunflower seeds. <laughs> yeah, and he goes, I'm trying to watch my weight. Doctor says, doctor says I can't eat the inside of candy for a couple months. But the skins were all the vitamin jack. <sighs> I love seeing like the, one of the biggest retards I've ever yeah. seen out in the wild. It's so great. A guy peeling a Snickers bar with a knife like it's an apple. 
and then eating the inside. It's the skin. Yeah, he's like, I don't like the skin. Just give me the, the nougat. He just he's cutting. left with soft caramel. <laughs> soft, soft caramel and nougat. He goes, that's the stuff right there. I like the goo. I like, I like the goo. There has, by yeah. the way, there probably has been a guy. Who's, the, the steward oh. comes by and he goes, she's like, she's like, what do you want? And he goes, can I get a 48 ounce for your bash steak? <laughs> She's like, no, you can get a pack of peanuts. He goes, no, thank you. <laughs> a pack of peanuts? A pack of peanuts? You trying to make me gay? I'm not gay. <laughs> like this Muslim up here. Yeah, like the damn Muslim. He's pointing at a Mexican guy. The damn Muslim. We all know Muslims are always gay. <laughs> yeah, that guy's staring at a Mexican gardener on the plane. thinking he's about to hijack it. <laughs> Ben, what time did you have to uh, wake up to tell me that Gracie was outside? By the way. Oh yeah, and then I, I checked the uh, the night. Uh, when did I check? I took ring. care of the dog. My for security. The week and- I have a bullshit eighty dollars security yeah. camera in the backyard, and it alerted me that someone was spotted at like two thirty in the morning. And, and you I actually looked, and Gracie looked. was wandering in the backyard mm-hmm. in the dark. Yeah. In the, she like was all a, sad. So she was in the backyard first. From two. Th- yeah. She and then she. I looked at, and then it notified me on the ring camera. She then she would go to the front yard. How she? She kept going back and forth. Devin was watching, for the folks listening at home, Devin was watching my dogs as I was out of town visiting yeah. family in Texas. This was the last And one day. of them was com- was uh, outside uh, all night. Made I literally break. was on the couch watching Sicario 2, Day of the Soldado. <laughs> and <laughs> That's how Gracie got out. She and got inspired. Gracie got inspired by that. <laughs> she I, dug a hole I, like a coyote. I, I, I I, I can almost 100% guarantee they were both in front of me as I'm falling asleep on the couch. With all the doors and windows both closed. Both doors, every window's closed. Every, it's the same shit. Mm-hmm. And I wake up. I wake up at 5 and I go to the bed upstairs and I go to bed. And then I wake up at 10 and I have like a million missed calls from Ben and a bunch of text messages like, Devin Gracie's out front. And I wake up like, oh, oh <laughs> what the fuck? And I run outside. Luckily, she's so retarded. She's just across the street. And she runs right into the house. But like, oh, she's my too much God. of a coward to run away. Imagine if I killed Gracie. I mean, honestly, they'd be pretty. That's happy. funny. So she's the slave that like turned back. Yeah. Essentially, like yeah. she like got cold feet mm-hmm. and then crawled back into the. She couldn't the leave. Barracks. She couldn't yeah. leave. Yeah. Yeah. She's the slave who said, "I miss cotton candy." But anyway, besides that, the rest of the week, I fuck. You know, I fucking, I loosened the bolts on JoJo Siwa's <laughs> tires and. <laughs> Stalker. Dude, I saw that driving to the convenience store. I saw she has two, two wrapped cars. She has a wrapped Tesla and a wrapped Porsche Cayenne all with her face. I on know. Me. And I've been looking at her because she's been going viral for being retarded. There's Who is she? What does she do? There's one we talked about on the podcast, I think, but she's like her ex Disney uh, star. Teen moms or no dance moms. Dance moms. But now she dresses like a fucking like Gene Simmons. And yeah. She's like she talks about she's like, I'm going to shove a dildo up my pussy. But I saw a video of her dancing and being retarded in her driveway, and it's that driveway. I checked. It's it. the same place. It, that's where JoJo Siwa lives. I kind of the whole trip. I like I would go down to like go to the gas station and get something while well, you were gone while I was staying here, and I would just like drive by and I'd be like, I kind of want to like sit out here and just like hunt. <laughs> I kind of want to hunt. Her. I want to hunt her, dude. It would be. Yeah, it makes you wonder if the guy who killed John Benet Ramsey was that bad of a guy. Yeah, mm-hmm. I don't look really the way know. This lady grew up. I looked. I look at the JoJo Siwa car and I go, "You're my Lindbergh baby now." <laughs> Like, but nobody take. goes looking for no, her. I'm going to take you. <laughs> <laughs> it must feel pretty good to be the guy who killed John Bene Ramsey. By the way, like if I killed John Bene Ramsey, I'd wake up every day and I'd be like, "Never cut me." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I'd, crazy I'd brush they, my teeth, be like, "They don't know right. the why." Anybody <laughs> that got away with a crime that like, that large yes. in the public eye mm-hmm. is like, you got to feel like that's so funny. Yeah. I'd remember that every time I woke up, yeah. like who I am and that what was I did, me. what I got away You'd with. Get drunk. And every day is a blessing after yeah. that. You yeah. get drunk at a bar in North Dakota, like some blood bucket bar, and you'd be like, I, I killed Yamane. I took her life. <laughs> and they're like, sure, you did. Uh-huh. Like I hit her on the head with a rock. Yeah. Like a, <laughs> like a monkey. Yeah, you raped and killed Yamane, and I'm D.B. Cooper. <laughs> you no, know, I really... Well, I mean, that's the serial... That's the Zodiac killer, the Gary Potch guy. Or, he no. was gay. He was hanging out with guys in the woods, like, you know, uh-huh. having gay relationships, and then, right? Yeah, no, he, the, he, he killed Pat Oswalt's wife. Yeah, while she yeah was that's asleep. right. Yeah. No, the Zodiac killer. I forget the guy's name, but there was a guy who died like a couple years ago. Yes, the guy that took pictures with yeah. all these guys in the woods, and they were like, he said he was the Zodiac. Right. <laughs> no, they were. Yeah, they're like, R.I.P. Gary. Can't believe you were the Zodiac killer. And shit. Yeah. Like he claimed to be the Zodiac for like the last ten years. But he of was his just life. like a lonely fag. Yeah. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. Apparently, right? Like, actually, like yeah, he was just like, lived by himself and like hung out with like two high school football coaches two guys or something. in the woods. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He was just hanging out with like the Kelsey brothers, like in the <laughs> Redwood Forest, yeah. for the later part of his life. Yeah, just being like I used to be something. Yeah, I stabbed a woman in the park. The Zodiac was really. He was like he was like Caesar from Planet of the Apes. He's like I just live in Marin now. <laughs> <laughs> I had to get out of there. He's like, yeah, I had to, listen, I had to move to the Shimi Valley and they knock were, it off. They were upset at me for the, whatever I committed. Well, that was the BTK, Dennis Rader, I think, is his daughter got old enough and he goes, all right, I was a young man, time to knock it off. <laughs> he told her. Did he tell her? Yeah, she, and then she went on to try and have a career like in like talking about like crimes and stuff, but it's like, mm. you're like a sick person. Yeah, too. you're sick. You should be aborted. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, your dad was a serial killer. I can't believe you have to retire from like raping. Mm-hmm. Like you have to retire from pretty much. Oh, like I think everything actually. The, like yeah, a, rapist, wife. a rapist that's on Tongat Ali <laughs> to like keep his sex drive up. Down, you mean? He's like, yeah, he's, he's, he's no, no, he's he's no, he's like upset. He like doesn't have the urge to rape anymore. He's so trying he's, to keep his. Testosterone he's like trying up. to keep the testosterone up. He's like on Tongat Ali. He's doing oh, okay. maca. He's yeah, doing yeah. maca. He's, he's like, chewing root. Yeah, yeah he's, chewing, he's, he's been like chicory like, root. I've been I've been deadlifting to try and want to rape again. <laughs> See, I was thinking it's like his wife sits him down. He's like, "Okay, we had the second kid. Like, you had your fun. No, no, no. Jason, Stop he, raping, he, killing he killed women. His, he killed his wife because she was in his ear okay. <laughs> about all the rapes. Oh, he's yeah, nag, oh, nag, nag. Don't yeah, rape yeah, that girl. Yeah. It's funny. He kept like raping for like years, but he's like, yeah, I was just going through the motions. Really, there was yeah. no enjoyment in it for me anymore. I had to like take." Take like Viagra, yeah. and even, like get it he's up. Taking, yeah. He's getting like 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 HGH shots right. so he could like still have like the the energy to force yeah. like couples to like uh, balance plates on their back as they're tied up. He's as they're binded, ra- right. he's raping a girl and he's having to th- visually think of himself getting raped to get hard. And he's going like, oh, God, it's so sick, but it gets me hard, I guess. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna blow your head off now. Anyway. Anyway, I almost came. Um, I'm going to blow your head off and then jerk off in your pussy so they think I did. <laughs> yeah, he, he's embarrassed. He's embarrassed. Yeah. He's like, if you tell anybody in hell that I did this, I'll kill myself, go to hell, and rape you again. <laughs> uh. Yeah, taking blue chews, having to wait 45 minutes for them to kick in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes, sir. I wish I got away with like a horrible, horrible like thing. You can it's such bullshit. You would never. It's like if you already like hate yourself and we're all good people here. We're all good people. Here. I think I'm. I don't know if I am though, because like I think you have to like recognize the evil you see in the world within yourself, and that you too are capable of it to be like mm-hmm. to like move on to the next level of whatever this shit is. Right? I'm not capable of anything I make fun of. All these. You don't think so? No. That's why I make fun of it. It's a, it's to, it's to release how crazy that shit is. Give me an example. This we just did a whole fucking. You're not capable. S- of serial that? <laughs> killer needing to be horny to rape again. Yeah. Riff. I do. I do sometimes think about. I, the, I could never do any of that. Yeah. I think, I, I think the, so too. I like I to think already that. have done it. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't like it. And I didn't like it. it. Wasn't for me. It was a phase. It's a phase. Yeah. You know, we was college. You know, high school years. <laughs> um. No, I, I do. I do kind of wonder, like you know, like there's, uh, you know, therefore, but the grace of God go I. Like if there's a certain set of circumstances where I'm, you know, and born in a completely different environment, and you know, all of a sudden I'm leading an army of ninety African children into a war or something, mm-hmm. you yeah. know? Yep. With a big machete. Yeah, and you make them call you sir. Yeah, I go. You put some respect on my <laughs> African name. I go. You put my name is General Butt Faggot. <laughs> <laughs> you put some respect on me. Ben, you know how you're actually simultaneously you're a good guy, but also like God knows what's gonna happen in the future is how you react on that flight. What do you mean? That guy's like trying to fuck your wife. Yeah, but he's a retard. Of course. So you made the smart decision to be like, there's no need. I'm not gonna like start like a thing mm. on this flight. We have like a couple hours. But that is true. You're not one of those dads. But also that could add up in your brain and then later on you like kill a guy yeah. oh I could like murder like Chris Benoit my family you basically you yeah say. Benoit Benoit yeah let's get it right let's yeah. some who's Chris, Chris Benoit Chris Ben it's Chris, Avery Wah. it's Chris Benoit <coughs> yeah. oh I thought it was Benoit it's not Benoit no it's Benoit it's Benoit sorry I, I'm i not classically trained in only, podcasting only a Frenchman could do that mm-hmm. 
Chris. Oh, because I always thought Chris Benoit. I thought it was Chris Benoit. It was like a Chinese guy, and then Chris Benoit was another guy. No. Chris Benoit. <laughs> yeah. I thought it was like a thing you ordered at like Pai Wai. No. Chris Benoit. You thought you go order the Chris Benoit from like Dina Tai Fung at the Americana? I thought it was like a vegan Rangoon. Like it's like I didn't right. Know. You order it, they come out and kill your whole family. <laughs> like it's dim sum. <laughs> I don't know. It's just like part of me kind of wishes that I got to fight in Vietnam or something, or like we had a war that I could maybe enlist in just to. I don't well, know because like you you come you like kill a couple guys that you you know you pull a trigger on a rifle and you see a man drop out in a field somewhere and you know that you're that that decision you made. We might took his life, and we then might. you just go on living the rest of your life. And I think, mm-hmm. I think internalizing that somehow completes this. Uh, you know, it's a it's a missing piece, kind of, where you, you can see the evil within yourself, then you can understand. Like, I think, I think, kind of. I'm seeing all these retards eat a bunch of food on YouTube and I've done it for so long now I'm starting to mimic their behavior the kind of like if you like if you show uh, chimps a bunch of war footage like they start like you know like walking around like, you've talking watched, like Hitler. you've watched enough game tape mm-hmm. it's like it's like somebody trying to master right. like the rever- like a like a like a corner fadeaway but mm-hmm. you've been doing it for like eating you know garbage fries or whatever yeah, eating hot fries dipped in ranch. Whatever it is. The, what is the Pittsburgh? What do they do in Pittsburgh? They it's just like pour, garbage plate. They pour like blood all over their like hot dog <laughs> and shit and they eat it. Yeah, it's like a it's like a bullet they <laughs> empty the lead out of. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They, they cut their hand with a pocket knife <laughs> like, ah! and they squeeze their hand yeah. on spaghetti. Yeah. We we call this the we call this the Philly milkshake. You gotta fuck a bunch of mud then eat it. <laughs> I think you're thinking of the Cincinnati thing. In Cincinnati they put a bunch of like uh ground beef on uh it's a garbage uh, plate. A spaghetti garbage plate. Or something yeah, yeah, garbage, yeah plate. garbage plate yeah but i'm just saying like i don't know like morality doesn't even like really make sense like life doesn't really make sense to me and like mm. morality doesn't make sense and i don't even know like who's like what's bad and who's good and like i think maybe like having some sort of delineation is making me gay and retarded and making me eat like a bunch of like like making me go huh i'm walking my daughter on a stroller through a crispy cream drive through on foot right now and it's 9 p.m mm-hmm. and you're wondering what is the and i'm sucking is, the custard out of the donut right and you're wondering <sighs> like did it's I, toothpaste did i choose to walk this road that's <sighs> taking me to the baby be Krispy Kreme moment or did mm-hmm. the road appear underneath me and yeah. I have no choice to and step I, off of I'm it. not going to become the 300 pound dad dude you I'm think, not going to do it I'm a, I'll fucking kill myself you think, on this podcast you think mm-hmm. the donuts, respectfully sir the donuts are just a cup for the custard yeah you're sucking the custard give out. Me, you go, this cup is worthless <laughs> now. Give me a, give me a frozen yeah. yogurt you're, cup. You ask for a refill of water, they pour it in the donut. <laughs> you're a Dracula for like donuts. So you're saying I essentially think of donuts as a waffle cone. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's it's a holder. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's yeah. a plate. Yeah, it's yeah. a plate for the for the sugary yeah, you, stuff You inside. suck all the custard out of it, wash the inside, and then put it on the drying yeah. rack. <laughs> you keep them in your... In your <laughs> you keep, you, <laughs> and you, you go, keep them in your car. You go, I, I just refill these. Yeah, you go. You know what? I'm gonna eat some gravy, and then you just spray it into a fucking custard, a fucking dough mold. <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah, next to my flashlights that are drying on the rack. <laughs> you have a rack for your flashlights and a, and a rack for your donuts. I have two dishwashers, one for donuts, one for flashlights. And so you always get it mixed up. You get really pissed, and you're <laughs> like, "Fuck! I got cum in my dough. Damn it!" Yeah, I'm fucking a donut. Yeah, you're eating Which a probably flashlight. Probably wouldn't feel that bad. Yeah. You microwave a donut and then stick your dick in it. It's yes, stick sir. it's sticky and it's soft. Yeah. I mean fuck, what else does a guy need? I mean honestly like You take an aquarium and shove it up your ass <laughs> while you fuck a donut. What were we saying, Devin? In a couple months you'll be showing up to Chipotle with like a custom sized <laughs> tortilla you brought. So they could fit all the food in it. So yeah. they, could, they could finally roll it. You're, you're having to teach them how to make a mega burrito out of four tortillas. <laughs> like, I brought my own tortilla. No. Yeah, you're like one of those drunks who's like, you don't know how to make a seven and seven? <laughs> no need for the reinforcement. <laughs> I'm just saying, what are rights, you know? Are you yeah. saying, are you, what are rights? Are you talking about like, what is like free will? Like, do yeah, I make what, these no, choices? No, what I'm saying is like, you, and you know, you look, you, God forbid, you know, you open up the newspaper now. Uh, you know, you don't see anything about Jesus Christ. You see people fighting over you this. See stuff over about there. Jesus coming over this border, folks. <laughs> you see stuff about Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm. Jesus Cristo. <laughs> well, you see, from Oaxaca. From Oaxaca. Am I right, folks? They make great mole. By the way, there. Oaxacan food's disgusting. <laughs> 
<laughs> Nobody wants your string cheese with chocolate yeah. sauce. <laughs> also, spell the fucking name normal, yeah. retard. It's o ha. O, yeah, O A X, whatever. Yeah, yeah. And nobody, off. nobody wants boiled cactus. Okay, <laughs> I don't care that you're in the cartel and I'm supposed to be like, oh wow, oh my god, this is like a Sicario meal. Devin's right. Fuck off with that. Mm-hmm. Learn to eat a fucking cheeseburger. Goyla and, gets and, a and hit English on the ATM even if you can't speak. It. Goyla gets a kind of stinks. Oh, the Mexican restaurant. I've gone twice. The, yeah. I try really hard, but it's like, why am I eating a fucking cactus and an aloe vera plant with like mole? <laughs> no, give me Taco Bueno. Give me Taco Villa. Give me, uh, give me roses. Cafe. I love good Mexican food, but also Mexicans. It's like they should embrace the fusion. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's time to get the fucking sour cream. Let's get let's get the other things in there. Give let's me get, an orange chicken burrito. Put some fries in it. Put some fries in it. <laughs> All right, I'm surfing today. Go. I'm Give a surfer. Me, where's the ketchup? Where's the ketchup? <laughs> Give me the ketchup for my bean burrito. Why is there not ground beef with cheddar cheese? Uh, yeah, I need then... some A1 for my carne asada burrito. <laughs> <laughs> can I get some? Can I get some tartar sauce for my nachos? <clears throat> putting putting mustard on your enchiladas, <laughs> like a goddamn American. Putting your burrito in a hot dog bun with relish and eating it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes, sir. I'm just saying you see people getting bombed to hell every which way and then you go, well, maybe, you know, none of these things are actually like rights, you know, like you either get killed or you don't get killed. And that's just sort of like the law. That is actually the law of the land. And like all this stuff we've built up over here is like kind of fake, you know. We're gonna oh, be so like, we're all like act, like yeah. You're becoming a blood meridian dad, yeah. kind of. No, well, I'm just saying, like, I guess we kind of take it all for granted, and we build up these fantasies of like what like society and culture is, and like none of that is actually true yeah, okay, at all. Here's the thing, and like they they but there before the grace of God go I, I'm not getting blown up by a big like you know Israeli keg. Well, or you whatever. will soon. Yeah. Like you know, Israel's not be, dropping a piano on my head. We're gonna be conscripted soon if these if these uh, sand animals can't stop <laughs> with their bullshit. They're going okay. crazy over there. Because today the the Iranians, the, yeah, who what are, are apparently they doing? like the Caucasians, they mm-hmm. started bombing Israel. They're white. They're either white. They're like the original white people, I guess. Mm-hmm. But like, well, they all look like Phil Leotard. But yeah, also yeah, they, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I'm on their side. And so they Next. started they started bombing Israel, and so there might be a big thing, and so you know, fucking. I whenever I hear like oh a new thing's happening and there might be World War Three I start eating really badly and doing whatever I want because I'm like I hope I'm unhealthy enough to be drafted. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's if they do the draft we're all gonna have to get really fat we have to really get fat. quickly. We have to yeah. get fat because I ain't doing that shit. Mm-hmm. I'll I'll trade you guys like I'm Burgess Meredith, <laughs> 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 teaching you guys how to really get into it. Yeah, literally doing the private policy where you stick right. the donut in our mouth. I'm Burgess Meredith and Rocky, and I'm going, I'm going, you're going to eat ice cream and shit diarrhea. <laughs> <laughs> I rewatched Full Metal Jacket. I think maybe Full Metal Jacket just made me think about war a lot mm. and like how fucked up it is. Right. Like, it's bad. Like, I was like, I watched, I was like, I'm like this is a mind fuck. <laughs> this is a total fucking right. mind you fuck. Watch, you watch Full Metal Jacket and Gomer Powell kills himself. You're like, ah, war might be bad. And then they kill the Vietnamese girl, and you go, well, it's not too bad. But maybe you gotta crack a few eggs. <laughs> gotta make an omelet. That movie's like obviously so genius, but uh, I think just watching that movie kind of uh, is is great too because it's like the whole time I'm just fucking like laughing, mm-hmm. and I'm like, why am I laughing my fucking ass off the whole time? Like the opening, Arlie Ermey goes, uh, he goes, I, uh, I, I'm not prejudiced whether you're, he goes, whether you're an N word, a K word. Mm-hmm. And he says, he says, so in the first 15 seconds of the film, we hear hard R and we hear K. And you go, that's cinema to me. That's what I call cinema. <laughs> Every Palm Dior award right now. I don't know how people could even watch that movie now with him saying that in the first, it cuts from black and he's walking. He says hard R K and then a, nine other slurs. Yeah. I Imme- fucking immediately out of the gate. Mm-hmm. And it's, it's so funny that you have to, Kubrick was genius for having a uh, private pile, not being able to not laugh. Yeah. Because as an audience member, you're dying laughing at that scene so much. And he's calling them all faggots and and, like hard R N words. And then all of a sudden you're getting choked. You're getting choked by Arlie Emery in a way. Oh, yeah, I guess you're right. Arlie Emery. Yeah. Yeah. No, I mean, it's 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 that thing where it's uh, it's so funny because, I mean, we were laughing at the guy that got hit, you know, with the truck and skip stoned into a lawn and died. Yeah, because uh, (laughs) the guy guy, it is funny to see a 400 pound guy hit by a truck holding a pistol. Yeah. 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 Holding holding a pistol the size of one of his teeth. (laughs) 
it's his fault. Yeah. It's his fucking fault. But I, I think the reason it's funny is because life is ultimately very horrific, you know? <laughs> yeah. And, and we do, we're lucky enough to live a, a world where we can order Postmates and watch Sicario 2 and be like, you know, life's not too bad. But, the, you know, we're we're on top of a pile of just bodies killing bodies all the way down. And that's yeah. what's kind of great is when you get on Twitter, you mm-hmm. get to see like 2001 A Space Odyssey, like all the like people turn into mm-hmm. these monkeys jumping up and down like like uh, over a monolith, like killing yeah. each other with bones and yeah, rocks yeah. and stuff. No, I mean, you literally get to be on Twitter and you get to see like, you know, like a fucking, you know, a guy snipe a little child in the Middle East <laughs> through the head and you go, huh, anyway, <laughs> they're bonkers over there. That definitely doesn't apply to my life at all. Dude, our little brother has it figured out because I went to his apartment in downtown Dallas to do a stream mm-hmm. on the Limit Party Clips channel. Yeah. Which you go subscribe to. And uh, he he put he put on a TV. He had South Park on. And then a TV popped up over here that he had on the ground in the corner. And I was like, what? I go, did you accidentally just turn that TV on? He goes, no, dude. And he put on uh, like the Mavs game. Mm. And I was like, what the fuck is this? He goes, two TVs, dude. Nobody does one TV now. Literally everybody I know has so two TVs. He's become this Family Guy movie boring as hell He said, type of thing. He said, he goes, dude, last night we watched Sicario on this TV and Family Guy on this TV. Sicario. <laughs> and he goes, Sicario kicked ass, by the way. He goes, have you seen it? I was like, no. I'm like, why are you watching? He's doing the TikTok thing where he's right. lining up two TVs because on top of each other. There's a lot of scenes in Sicario where there's set up and you could watch Peter Griffin get yeah. hit by a car in between. <laughs> He's watching. He's telling you he's like Sicario was crazy, dude. They killed Brian in Sicario. <laughs> they placed him with an Italian dog. It kind of blew my mind to do the TikTok ADD yeah. thing because uh, I IRL. actually as because I was watching South Park and I kept mm-hmm. tuning into the game, but I could still watch like South Park in my mind's eye. Yeah, and it was awesome. No, there's a part of you as an adult where you like when you watch The Matrix as a kid and he gets taken out of the tub and mm-hmm. you go, you go, yeah, fucking badass. He's in real life, <laughs> and you get old enough and life beats the shit out of your. Penis penis and balls yeah. for 25 years and you go man put him back in that fucking tub put him back in, put the, him goo. in the goo put him in the goo like why does he have to be on the ship and, and eat shit out of a tube all day like why can't he is just he come out of a bucket yeah, he's like here's you come you're welcome you're welcome you're living real life it sucks ass you're welcome like no dude put me in the fucking pod play family guy clips yeah next to pornography next to the mavs game that is funny because in in the Matrix, everybody everybody in the Matrix is, is pretty much normal and kind of really cool. Mm-hmm. And then on the Nebuchadnezzar, the ship, everyone is kind of half retarded. Yeah, everybody on the Neb- the Nebuchadnezzar is like non binary from a Brooklyn DJ mm-hmm. show. What they is the, all look what like is Funko Nebu- Pops. What is the Nebuchadnezzar? That's uh, the, sh- it's the, the Nebu- ship. That's that- the ship in the Matrix. That they um, all live that, on. That uh, APOC. That oh. APOC is the. Or it's Morpheus's ship. And so they go and they get a Neo out of the goo and they put him on the ship. But and that ship has to hide from all the little uh, things, the the th- things that build the world. The squid guys. The little squid guys. The squid yeah. robot guys. Hmm. The sentinels. So they're they're sentinels. they're in the real the real world is completely gone. It's un- Earth is unhabitable, Man. unlivable, and all the people live in egg pods made of goo, and that's what right. powers the machines. They harvest the energy of human beings. To power their machines, and all they want to do okay. is keep propagating and building. More. Can I also say something? And I th- Morpheus is like one of the nine people that are out of the Matrix that are in the quote unquote real world, which is a post apocalyptic world. And they, on the ship, plug tubes into the back of their head to go into the program that the machines built that all the people live in in the yeah. egg goo eggs in their head, which they're basically in a big coma. You've seen the Matrix, right? I've seen the Matrix. Yeah. So they can go in and wake people up. And it's like, a, it's like a Jesus Christ sort of thing where he goes out into the world to wake people up, enrich their consciousness so they can elevate to a higher plane and transcend and break free okay. from the mold and pain of the, of the flesh. Oh, okay, I don't know. I just mm-hmm. thought they were doing karate. And, yeah. And, and, well, that's uh, the Matrix, jackets. too. Jackets. <laughs> The Matrix 2 is like, what if there was two Jamaican wiggers just, who yeah. were ghosts? <laughs> In an Escalade. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I do think that that movie, I love the Matrix movies, one of my favorites of all times, until they both changed to women. Now I hate them. Um, <laughs> it's a great movie, but yeah. it is very indicative of like the late 90s where we were so out of touch with the, just the horror of existence like life was so good because we were completely tuned out of like whatever was happening the economy was amazing everybody had it like relatively great 
And we were just kind of like, well, it's fucking, it's great. And I want to die. Like, it sucks, actually. Fuck this. And that's where you get Matrix. You get Fight Club. And now we're like kind of too tuned into the horrors. You know, we've we've actually gone through like the actual first hard thing we've ever gone through, which is like, you know, like COVID quarantine and shit. Like, it's mm-hmm. the other thing we've had that like any Russian woman from 100 years previous would have had in her life. Mm-hmm. And now we're like, oh, we actually the... There's a beautiful joy in completely tapping out of this horrific existence where everything exists by destroying something else and consuming it. That's the way every single bit of energy gets more energy to survive mm-hmm. before itself is eventually eaten and consumed and turned into energy for something else. Mm-hmm. And it's kind of beautiful to tap out of that in certain aspects. Yeah, for sure. You know? sure. We're all just monkeys, man. We're it's that it's we're that all... Kubrick thing. Kubrick is right. It's with the bone, it goes up in the air. Listen, and it man, I've been watching a, a lot of Rogan recently. <laughs> we're all monkeys on a rock flying through space. Yeah, we're all a bunch of electrified meat skeletons, brother. And the other day, I fucking I heard Andrew Schultz say something that blew my fucking mind. He goes, he goes, dude, it's not like you know. I realized the other like war is not about like even war. It's not about like fighting each other. It's about like money, dude. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I love it's about the, money. I, War's not even about war, dude. I love on flagrant too when uh, he said, uh, "Yo, Israel's kind of cap recently. <laughs> They're kind of like hella cap." <laughs> I, sometimes, like every day, Bert Kreischer is getting like death threats on Twitter, and I'll see and I'll go, "Fuck!" I'm like, "Why are these?" I'm like, "He just does suck ass." But I'm like, "These people are a little too far." And then I click on the profile and it says, "Follows you." Yeah, it's your profile it's, picture. It, it's always people. I'm like, "Oh, he's a yellow king on right. the." Yeah, it's, <laughs> and he's telling Bert to kill himself. Yeah. His profile is at Ben Avery told me to do this. Well, wasn't Bert walking through the Atlanta airport it's in just, his underwear drinking? I can only drinking? see your dick and balls in your ass. So, and I'm a guy who does wear short shorts on this show sometimes, but it's just, it's outrageous. Yeah. It is outrageous. I, I do see the irony of me pointing that out, but yeah. you know, I'm not, I don't have my belly out and shit. I don't walk around like a newborn. Yeah, fucking jumping in bird baths. Shout out the fan that sent us the signed Bert picture yes, on the table, you. though, and which I love because it looks like we're we're in the like Jagger Hoover and we're fucking Bird in the fifties. <laughs> and he sent us a little picture. And thank you to the guy the the I, I forget your name. I'm sorry, sir, but the 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 Bada Bing shirt from uh, the Satin Dolls Strip Club. I really appreciate it. Just, sent it to just you. got it. That yeah. was awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you so and much. And the guy wrote us a nine-page letter that was very nice. Some guy wrote us a nine-page letter that I burned without reading <laughs> as a sign of disrespect. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, that was very sweet. Uh. Anyway, you're fat as shit. <laughs> Dude, this can't be... Like, I don't... like. We, you're, August, not, you're not doing anything to help yourself. I think I might go on a fast. And I... For, can I tell also you... Also for religious can reasons. Can I tell you that's going to be... <laughs> Can I tell you, as a guy who got fat from doing fast, you're about to do the thing where they go around the moon and it slingshots them further and faster. <laughs> That's literally what happens is you start to get kind of fat. I was fit in college. You start to get kind of fat and you go, I'm going to start fasting. And then you don't eat for 12 days and then you eat everything for fucking three months. <laughs> don't go on a fast, dude. But then, but I really hate like, I just want to sit in a chair and think all day and work on my stuff. And I don't want to like, I don't want to like not. The problem is the, the problem is you've gotten so into writing that it's making you fat. That's the problem. Yeah, you're using writing as a front. Yeah, you're eating words, in a way. Yeah, I heard like Herman Melville. He would like finish a chapter and he would like manically, furiously run up this mountain and run back down. And I'm like, well, that's retarded. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna eat more food. <laughs> what if instead of doing that, I ate a pizza? This is why I just I need to. You should go to the. You should start uh, throwing around barbells with me. Get into. Let's get no, into powerlifting together. I want. I want Jeff Bezos to shoot me into space. <laughs> Why can't I be in space? I think I'd be a great candidate to be in space. I sit mm. in a chair all day. The first guy to say slurs yeah. in space. I, that is definitely not true. That is actually definitely not true. You have a family though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but I've seen the movies where like you have a big monitor and you say hi to your wife and sure. she's like she slowly falls out of love with you and you're that's true. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that could, that's actually kind of cool. You just want like a you, you a Japanese typewriter in a bubble in space. Yeah, I look like the baby at the end of 2001 yeah. in Space Odyssey. You just eat your own shit, you <laughs> shit, and then it yeah. turns it into something you, that tastes kind of good and you eat it. Yeah, you don't want to be in a fancy space shuttle. You want to be in Sputnik, sealed in a big metal ball. <laughs> I'm just dying like a dog. I actually, I want to be the guy in charge of uh, like dropping nuclear bombs on people. Mm. 
I want to be that guy. I want to be the guy that's waiting by the big red phone to drop the... And I, I'm guessing there's one guy for each country. Mm. Probably one guy for Japan. Probably one guy for like like all the world superpowers. And they're all paid by APAC. Uh, yeah, APAC owns every funded. one of them. They're paid $3 million a month. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I find to destroy the world. <laughs> a billion dollar fund to destroy the world every year. Who's going to win? Iran or is it was, I don't know. Know. It was Israel will always shit. win if we keep supporting. Yeah, Israel. I mean, we're literally about to give them like five hundred billion dollars. Iran my, is just doing some like performative <laughs> shit where they're like, "Hey, yeah. yeah, Iran, they got hit, so they got to like fire back a little I bit and know. make some Jews but run it's like, for a you second." Hit Damascus, which I don't even know what that is. I don't know right. what these countries are. I know what you guys are talking it's all about. Meaningless. The ninety four Olympics to me. It's like you know, ninety four <laughs> Olympics. Yeah, I don't know what country. They're all fighting yeah. over a big chickpea in the sky. <laughs> Nobody cares. Fucking losers. My friend uh, Jake, you guys know Jake who does Pandejo Time, the podcast. Yeah. Yeah. He messaged me that he's listening to Rogan and Del Brennan and Rogan are talking and uh, Rogan goes, "Yeah, man, like, uh, like, like what I uh, what Israel's been doing to everybody's like is pretty fucked up and bad, but like what Iran did is like bad too." And Neil goes, "Yeah, exactly. That's what I've been saying." Dude, I, so you guys are like these like Neil, love, fu- like I love, bastions of truth. That's very and funny. Know. Like no one is saying anything. I at all. love like Rogan's great, but sometimes his podcast is like throwing two microphones into a bar at the airport <laughs> and just letting people talk near it to each I other. I listened to some of that episode, and there was this one part that's really good near the end where, where they start talking about George Floyd and Neil and Brennan. Neil Neil is just trying to be like, well, I mean, the cops were fucked up. That was mm-hmm. bad. Like they obviously didn't handle it right. And then Rogan's like, oh, yeah, of course, man. Obviously. Man, but like, also, like, he had like fentanyl in his system, like, he was gonna die anyway. <laughs> and then they Woo! look, and then they look it up. The autopsy? And like, Jamie looks up the amount of fentanyl in his system, mm-hmm. and like, like ne- we did. And Neil is just like, huh, huh I don't, really don't want to be doing this. <laughs> yeah. And Rogan's like, so how much is that? Jamie, how much is that? So uh, it's cool. nanograms per nanogram yeah. versus a milligram. <laughs> and, then, and then Rogan, and then Rogan, Rogan, an Rogan realizes he goes like, so it wasn't a lethal amount. Okay, but still, man, like you know, he still could have died. <laughs> but though, still, man. like maybe we should kill him. But still, man, and then Ro- and then Brennan's like, and that's what I'm fucking saying, motherfucker. Like that's the thing. Yeah, Neil Brennan's trying to be like, listen, Jack, I'm a cool cat, <laughs> brother, man. <laughs> Brennan's always just like, motherfucker, shit. Like, listen, man, like. I'm, that's what I'm fucking saying. Yeah, come on, man. I it's ro- like, it's like he. I wrote half baked, brother man. Cops are bad. Everyone's bad. Like people are bad. It's just one of those things. And I'm on ketamine. I'm I like, have, I have depression. That's why I'm a huge cocksucker. I live at a stable. I eat horse food with other horses. It's just, it's so funny. To listen. I'm dating Pyomon. <laughs> <laughs> It's so funny to me to listen to radio that is just is generally agreeable dudes. They're like, yeah, that one side's bad. And they go, the other yeah. side's bad, too. It was, and you go, yeah, man. It was a very had. funny interview, actually, because earlier in the interview or in the podcast. Uh, we got too lazy to try over here. He's seen every, he listens so to every podcast. today, like, Neil Brennan made a fool of himself on Rogan. But today, Neil um, Brennan was a cuck for black people. <laughs> no, but uh, Neil goes, uh, you're more right. You're you're more right. And I'm a little more left. And then and then Rogan's like, no, I'm not man. I'm like like I'm like the I'm like left, but like they like went crazy, man. I'm like in the middle now. No, nah, man. What I am like, is I'm, I'm like I'm like a now I'm like a I'm like a like a centrist, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> and Brandon's like, that's retarded. what I'm saying, motherfucker. Like you're the fucking centrist. Like it's like yeah, fine. Yeah. It's like that's what I'm saying, man. You're you're a fence sitter, you know. Like I guess we should be careful. We might end up on the Joe Rogan subreddit, and everyone uh, goes, <laughs> just anybody can have a podcast nowadays, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, sorry. We don't have it switching, and we don't. We didn't have a podcast studio with like things on the wall that look professional or mm-hmm. whatever. Yeah, that did sorry. well when we when we got on the Joe Rogan yeah. sub. That, that was so pretty mad. cool. They we were so have, angry at us. That was so funny because we said Huberman's kind of gay sometimes. <laughs> and then look what happened. Look what happened. Look he's what re- happened. he turns out we were wrong, and he's really cool. Yeah, he's actually the yeah. Sickest it actually guy. turns out he's he's fucking awesome. I actually think it's awesome that he does that. Me too. Because no, I go, I oh, he's human. He has a thing. Yeah. I thought there was something wrong with me because this guy learned how to live without a thing. No, I, it's, I it's call beautiful. him Andrew Humanman. <laughs> Never. Right, folks. right, and hey. that's why we're gonna go Take right that, to the Joe Rogan subreddit. We're gonna go to the top of the <laughs> Put that in your sub. pipe and smoke it. <laughs> oh mm. man, no, it's it's always funny when people that don't have any clue what we are. Well, it's so funny. Catch a clip. Mm-hmm. It, Catch one clip where we're saying yeah. something we don't even believe or know. We'll they say. go like, "What? What the fuck? Because it sticks as a fucking mean." That guy said a thing that wasn't true for humor. What the hell? <laughs> 
What the fuck? It's so funny to be like a goalie for like a billionaire's thoughts. Yeah. yeah. Like you guys are like constantly monitoring. It's like he still is going to make a billion dollars and do whatever he wants. Yeah, that podcast sucked. He didn't even interview Kelly Slater about <laughs> Ukraine. <laughs> interview a, a, a surfer uh, about a, a deep political issue. <laughs> Uh, mm, that's yeah. a De- Devin. That's a comedian's job, man. De- De- to be not funny. By the way, if you guys want to go over to Patreon, we're going to s- discuss the job of being a comedian. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's never been talked before about on a podcast. I'm gonna I'm gonna read off the Jester's Privilege Wikipedia page mm-hmm. for 20 minutes. No, we're, we are not going to be funny. No, we're going to talk about the job of being funny and without every, being funny. And every comment will be finally the podcast is good. <laughs> <laughs> finally, no jokes, just gay stories and stupid combos. <laughs> Wait, that's what our podcast is. It's mm-hmm. gay stories and stupid convos. No, our stories are cool and our convos are awesome. Oh yeah, we're actually really badass. We're actually and we rule. we're actually really badass, and everybody wants to fuck us because we're cool. Well, I'm glad we got to the bottom of uh, whatever's going yeah. on over there. I got it. I'm gonna take this yeah. knife out of the room because I just get the urge to throw it at the wall while we record. What is going on with those fucks over there? Who gives a shit? Are let's we, just let's play? just go into the next. Are we about episode. to be drafted and shit? Are we doing the next episode right now? No, no, no. What, no, no. Should we just float right into it or take a break? I, I think gotta, we should take a break. I got right? I got to piss and shit. I've yeah. been shitting at ribs and Krispy Kreme. I gotta come. Real yeah, quick. your own ribs. I ate McDonald's four times and then I ate Krispy Kreme three days in a you row. You ate McDonald's four times out there, Ben? Why no, do bef- you? No, before I went, okay. of my own volition. Damn. You should just be in gutter oil, Chinese gutter oil at this point. When the when the girls are away, the boys will play. Why do you look at McDonald's like it's... Um... I saw a lady, uh, a guy sent me a mukbang on the live stream of a big fat lady uh, uh, eating McDonald's french fries and they look so fucking This bad. is why we abandoned you on the live stream. Because mm-hmm. we didn't want to enable you anymore. Mm-hmm. We were still doing We were getting sucked us. into your world, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I gotta stop watching people eat, I guess. But like, mm. if I don't do that, like, what other hobbies do I have besides like being a gay guy who reads? I, yeah, you know, I don't know, man. I've, you know, I've heard, I've heard good things about about the solo live streams. Whatever, I'll get, I'll just get into like powerlifting or something. I don't know, but I do think it's killing you. I think You're you do dying those, for your art. You do those. They send you like the KFC triple stacker, mm-hmm. and then you go, "Oh my god!" You gets in your head, and then you do it, and you go, "Like I just did work." Like some, like you're like a steel worker. But the, you walk downstairs, you see Katie right. like taking care of your fucking firstborn child, and you go, "I need a fucking triple decker." Right? Because I'm fucking, I'm tired because I only got like five and a half hour, hours of sleep because her ass woke me up. Well, that's fine. You she, really should she, need to get over that. She sleep was having thing. nightmares last night. She was screaming "Allah Hu Akbar" in her sleep. Have you guys thought about not? tending to her Mm -hmm. that's when you put your headphones on like if you guys had the thought to be like just wait it out she's a crying baby yeah she won't remember you guys i was watching her for a second you guys all went into the kitchen she started crying and i did have the thought of like well i don't have to go over there (laughs) yeah of course i did but i there was a second where i was like well i don't have to because you're like nothing will happen i go nothing will happen she'll stop crying but i don't care you guys go she'll eventually (laughs) stop she'll stop because she has to yeah i guess you're right you yeah. gotta let them figure this shit out on their no, own. No, we. I do know somebody who did the. I think that's called the Thurber method. I remember like a long time ago they did that, and then all their kids like are sociopaths now. So <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you can do that. Yeah, don't do that. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm fat. patreoncom slash party. Give me money so I can I can I can be in the fucking red every month because I eat too much McDonald's. Mm-hmm. And uh, so I can feed my baby. You can be in the bread every month. So I can month. feed my wife McDonald's, and then all those chemicals can go into her tits. My baby can suck the chemicals out, and she can become a big fat retard like me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then she'll always live with me forever and ever, and she'll always love me, and she'll never leave, and she'll always think I'm really cool and awesome, and we'll be, mm-hmm. she'll be my best friend. Mm-hmm. And so Devin and Jace can uh, uh, pay rent. Yeah, yeah also, and, uh, also that, that that helps with us, too. Mm-hmm. I like paying rent. And uh, li- it's a baby. It doesn't. Uh, you, the baby could live in a shack. Like, who cares about Ben? Help Jason. I am. Yeah, yeah. We need. We we need good things. We we're have, used to it. We have lives. Yeah. <laughs> but we're out and about. I have a Criterion Channel account. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I can give you a password for a free one. No, I I, I use yours. 
<laughs> you don't even pay the $50. I don't month. even, you know, it's funny. I don't even use yours. I use the one you stole from somebody else that I stole from you. <laughs> That's yeah. that rule. And I, and I use it. I go, man, I love um, Tom Popo. That's a great movie. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Living Party dot Life two for Boston, DC, Philly, New York for live dates in early May. Devin at Hate Watch Pod, Jace at Sad Drawings by Jace. We'll see you guys next week. Bye, bye, bye. Bye. town of El Paso, I fell in love with a Mexican girl. Nighttime would find me in Rose's Cantina, music would play and Polina would whirl. Blacker than night were the eyes of Polina, wicked and evil while casting a spell. My love was deep for this Mexican way I was in love but in vain I could tell One night a wild young cowboy came in Wild as the West Texas way